Norwich Electric Forecourt is a really exciting project for GridServe. It demonstrates the next iteration in the family of electric forecourt solutions that we're delivering across the UK. And the difference between this site and say Braintree Electric Forecourt is this is designed to be very compact. So we can put the same amenities, deliver the same customer experience as we have in Braintree Electric Forecourt, but in half the footprint. And the way that we achieve that is we enable people to charge underneath the building itself rather than outside and underneath the canopy. And that created some really interesting design challenges, but there's also some fantastic design opportunities. You end up with a building that's, that's longer, you end up with a building that naturally has two entrances and two exits. The site's quite a bit smaller than what we had available at Braintree, which means that um, we have to change the design of the building. What we're doing, what we're building, is an is a ambitious, one of the key tasks that I have um, as head of construction is to you know, work towards zero emissions across our whole part of the business. That's still a journey that we're on. All of us drive uh, electric vehicles, of course, and then we look at charging of those vehicles on site. We look at the reduction in, in waste on the site. We look at energy use in our buildings ourselves. So we do run uh, a lot of temporary power systems whilst we're in construction. And we, we now use uh, purely vegetable oil to run uh, the generator sets. Sustainability is absolutely core to everything we do at GridServe. The company is called GridServe Sustainable Energy. Obviously that's prevalent in the energy that we produce through our chargers, but everything that we do in terms of the building, the design, the features, the materials, the practices, everything that we use is designed to minimise carbon emissions. The solar array that we have at Norwich Electric Forecourt is actually significantly larger than the array that we have at Braintree on top of the main building there. The operation and the use of the building is also something that we're paying you know, greater and greater attention to. You know, really identifying how much energy is used in different zones in the electric forecourt and how we can minimise that. And it's something that we continue to work on uh, and evolve over time. We still have some challenges. There's always challenges, which is being faced you know, across, really across the industry at the moment. There's a lot of supply challenges and, and we're not immune to that. I was very pleased to see today some the glass here that we've been waiting for some other bits and pieces going on which will allow that building to be closed up essentially in the next couple of weeks to allow the internal finishes to be at least started. What we're really hoping is that this project will give people the confidence to go into electric cars, particularly the 40 or 50% of people who just don't have any ability to charge at home. A really exciting piece of news that came out recently that we learned that in the Braintree area, there was more than twice the uptake of electric vehicles compared to the whole of the country. Now, the only logical explanation for that is the Braintree electric forecourt. That's exactly the same type of impact that we want to deliver at Norwich as well. And of course, if people are visiting Norwich or Norfolk, um, uh, they also have you know, confidence that when they get there, they'll be able to, you know, there's a great location that they'll be able to charge. And we really hope the residents of Norwich and everybody else absolutely loves it.